Thank you for joining me today at Power Platform Day. My name is Charles Lamana. I'm the Corporate Vice President for Low Code Platforms here at Microsoft. And I wanted to talk about why Microsoft is so excited about the Power Platform and what it means for our customers. When we look at what's driving the adoption for low code technologies like the Power Platform, there are a lot of broad secular trends in the industry. We're seeing that there's going to be more applications, over 500 million of them built in the next five years, which is more than built in the last 40 years. We're seeing that the demand for mobile applications from IT departments is growing five times faster than it can be satisfied. We're seeing that 86% of organizations are struggling to hire the technical talent to go build out that application estate. And of course, 85% of organizations are struggling to understand the unstructured data associated with all these different applications. And what this is leading to is that by 2024, Gartner analysts predict that 65% of enterprise application development will be done with low-code tools like the Power Platform. And that's why Microsoft is so focused on introducing a comprehensive, complete, low-code platform. Uh, Power BI makes it easy to analyze and understand all of your data, structured and unstructured. Power Apps makes it incredibly straightforward to build web and mobile applications without having to write code. Power Automate allows you to automate your business processes and leverage robotic process automation capabilities to improve workflows and your entire efficiency of your company. And the most recent addition of the Power Platform is Power Virtual Agent, which makes it easy to go build chatbots without having to write code or be an AI expert. And all of these different Power Platform capabilities are included and extend Office 365, Dynamics 365, or Azure, and also enables you to create your own standalone applications. And what's really unique about Power Platform is that it's focused on empowering every developer to do more. Citizen developers, which are business users or business analysts who are accountants and lawyers and uh, dispatch center employees or field service workers, they can use the Power Platform to solve their problems. It includes IT developers, people that can use PowerShell or manage SharePoint farms. They can go start to build incredibly complex solutions with the Power Platform. And last but not least, it includes professional developers or coders. And what we're really focused at, about doing here at Microsoft with the Power Platform is empowering people who want no code, those who want low code, and those who want to be code first. All three can work on top of a single Power Platform solution. And what's great about this is it allows you to go after and implement that long tail of applications that you can never get to and never build before. In a typical enterprise, there's thousands of different applications or dashboards or automations that you wish you could build, but you couldn't because you didn't have the budget, the skills, or the right people at the right place at the right time. Power Platform changes that completely. You can go build all those digital solutions that you've always wanted, but could never get around to. And we're seeing lots of customers do this. If we look at this quote from Chevron, they talk about how they really want to go enable it so that they could build the next thousand applications, not just build the next one application. And to do that is when they really turn towards the power platform, which allows them to go build the high end mission critical enterprise grade solutions, but also to go chase the thousands of other digital solutions that they can never get around to. And these types of use cases is exactly what we see most of our customers doing. Over 97% of the Fortune 500 use the Power Platform today to go transform problems big and small using the low code capabilities of the Power Platform. And just one such example of that is T-Mobile, a large telecom here in the United States and Americas. They have 52,000 employees. They do $43 billion of annual turnover. And they have 84 million customers. And if you look at one of the Power Apps they built, um, they built something called Orbit which makes it incredibly easy to go manage customer facing initiatives, which are campaigns between retail stores and digital marketing, uh, as well as to do project planning and project tracking in a single location across many different stakeholders inside of the company. And the entire goal was to go streamline this process to reduce errors, to reduce inefficiencies, and to go make it so that the customer ultimately has a better experience and better relationship with T-Mobile. And this is a great example, this one application called Orbit, which had huge impact for T-Mobile. But the reality is this is one of over 3,000 applications built by over 12,000 monthly active users at T-Mobile. 
Uh, and just that's this huge scale of what you can achieve with the Power Platform. Just like we have this great Orbit application, which you see a, a view of right here, there's another 3,000 plus applications just like it, helping T-Mobile operate more efficiently and deliver better service to their customers. If you look at Telstra, which is another telecom uh, based largely out of Australia, New Zealand area, there's 29,000 employees, they operate in 20 countries, they have 18 million customers. They similarly use the Power Platform to transform how they better serve their customers. So they built a Power App called the Technician Plus and Team Leader Plus applications. And what these do is they help the Telstra field service employees who go out to do repairs and servicing to have a better view of all the different data and all the different processes relevant to them doing their job. And the goal was to streamline the end-to-end -end process of a repair or a field activity. And in the past, the field service workers would have over 70 different systems and business processes to work with to really go solve a problem end to end. But that was able to be completely converged into a single power app, which works on tablet, mobile, inside of Teams, uh, which is used every day by over 1,200 technicians for a huge impact of an improved operations. And if you go look at the business impact, it's over $12 million of business value and business impact for Telstra. So this, these series of applications were able to transform 70 legacy solutions into one, which is modern, mobile, and cloud-enabled. That's the power power platform. But one of the things that makes me most excited about Telstra isn't just the application itself, but who built it. Nathan Backers was a field, sir, field worker trainee uh, in the communication technician department who actually learned Power Apps on his own and, and took it as a tool to start to transform how field service operates at Telstra. And Nathan is a great example of someone uh, who really knows the business and as well as can go use a low-code tool like Power Platform, is able to go completely transform a large company like Telstra um, just by getting one of these tools. And if we go look at the career journey for Nathan, he increasingly uh, expanded his scope and expanded his impact as well as found more ways to help Telstra do better business with their field workers through the Power Platform. If we go back to the very beginning, where we talked about Power Platform is all about enabling all kinds of developers, this is a great example of what's possible. And one, which is a more local example, uh, is Kobe City, uh, who used Power Platform to go manage their COVID-19 response. We can see that uh, Kobe City used the cash payment application management solution, which is a combination of a mobile uh, website and a uh, browser-based website, which allows us constituents and citizens to go track uh, their cash payments uh, that they're guaranteed, and they're able to track their status across multiple different loca locations. And this makes it very easy to stand up a solution um, from the city, which engages at all the citizenry without having to hire a whole bunch of developers and to move incredibly quickly, which has been essential in the response to the COVID-19 crisis. Additionally, in the center, we can see a COVID-19 response chat bot, which helps answer questions and run processes associated with COVID-19. And this chat bot can be embedded on both the portal that was published for the cash payment application, as well as other digital experiences and digital locations that the city has to engage with their constituents. And that's one of the great powers of Power Virtual Agent is that you're able to go engage your end users wherever they are by supporting all the different channels available inside of Power Virtual Agent. And of course, on top of all the great data in the common data service with uh, the website, on top of that Power Virtual Agent chatbot, they also used Power BI to create a great COVID-19 response dashboard to understand where there are problems, where there's more attention that's needed, as well as whether they should dial up investment or engagement, or even track the impact of the crisis across the board. And we can see here, this is a very complete example of how the Power Platform can be used to go solve a or problem that you're facing very, very quickly, whether it's through Power Apps portals or a mobile Power App, through Power Virtual Agent or Power BI, they all come together in a single platform, which makes it possible to solve all of your needs with a low-code solution. And again, it's not just about maybe how or what the solution did, but also the people behind it. And this is one of the most exciting things for Microsoft is seeing all the great innovation that can happen to go deliver these great solutions. And in this case, we can see that we have a developer who worked on it for less than a month and was able to go roll out the Kobe City solution 
And uh, in the case of Tsuyoshi, he has great experience with IT rollouts as well as how to, to go manage the IT landscape. He was able to go roll it out and have a big impact very quickly. And the community response was fantastic. There's tons of attention and tons of response to see such a great solution built so quickly and rolled out. And that's, again, what Power Platform is all about. Whether you're a field worker like Nathan or a developer like Sioshi, um, you're able to use a Power Platform to go solve your problems end to end without having to write any code, but writing as much code as you'd like, all wired up very ne- nicely together into a single platform. So with that, I just had a quick 10 minutes that I wanted to say, uh, share some background on the Power Platform, talk about some customer stories um, to kick off uh, the Power Platform day. I want to thank everybody again for taking the time. Uh, I look forward to seeing how the the day goes and, and how everybody enjoys it and learns a whole bunch about the Power Platform. Thank you.